Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. Exciting times ahead today as we finally do something that I have been putting off for far, far, far too long. But folks, before I get into it and that, I just want to mention really quickly, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. I say it all the time because it makes a very big difference in not only how I approach content on the channel, what I do, how I go about doing it, but it also really helps the channel and really helps just how things work with YouTube and stuff like that as well. So if you're having a good time and you want to have those good times continue, I guess, at least with Planet Zoo on this channel, that's a great way to make it happen. This is the first episode of the new month, is it? All the months are just kind of blurring together for me. I'm going to be honest with you. May came and I didn't even realize. But either way, it's May. And I'm going to mention the one thing that I try to mention only once a month. Again, folks, if you've been really, really, really enjoying this series and you'd like to support the channel in some other ways, I humbly request that you perhaps check out my Patreon or becoming a channel member. Links to both are in the description down below. You can become a channel member by clicking the join button that's right underneath the video as well. And again, and as always, it is not an obligation whatsoever, but it really does help the channel. It really helps keep a lot of these longer running series sustainable. And uh, it, it just, you know, <laughs> as I say often, it keeps us alive and running smoothly. Uh, with that said as well, of course, let's not forget that there are perks that come with being a channel member or patron. Um, that many of you are, uh, I, I love it actually. I, I love to see it because it's become a, um, it's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I, I love to see that it's become sort of a bit of a tradition, I guess. It's become sort of a bit of a uh, a system or, or whatever you want to call it. I think I like tradition. I think I like tradition because in the comments of the previous episode, I already saw some of y'all mention like, hey, can you note me down for, you know, this sponsorship or that sponsorship, which is great. I love it. Um, so thank you for that. I have noted down the requests I got last session. But again, for those of you that were waiting for the uh, the call, here is the call. If you are a channel member or patron, you can sponsor an animal. You can also be a staff member. And just as a reminder, you are not limited to one of either or one of each either. So if you want to have multiple staff members named after yourself or you know you want to offer the name for multiple staff members or you want to uh, sponsor multiple animals, go ahead and let me know. You know, Don't feel like, oh, I've already got one animal. I, I shouldn't sponsor another one. Go for it. If you're a channel member or patron, there's nothing holding you back. Uh, the only thing I try to do is uh, maintain it so it's just one per month. Uh, just, you know, spread the love a little bit and make sure we, we uh, well, yeah, spread the love a little bit. Uh, so with that said, again, just as a reminder, folks, because I do get the question every once in a while, but yes, it is a special perk for channel members and patrons, a special way of saying an extra thanks, I guess. Uh, you do get to, yeah, get yourself a you know, sponsor board. We've got some fancy sponsor boards made already and more fancy ones to come, I'm sure. Uh, already some requests coming in for Cheetah sponsorships, actually, and I've got some, I've got some ideas. I've got some uh, ideas as I mistakenly or the uh, one number. I didn't even realize I was a shortcut for stuff. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so not only that, but of course, uh, you can become a staff member as well. Just let me know. If you're a channel member, you should leave a comment down below, and I will see that you have a little icon next to your name, and that will tell me you're a member, and that's you know easy for me to verify. If you're on Patreon, shoot me a message on Patreon, and uh, it'll allow me to verify and, and make sure I have you know the right person's request and all that kind of stuff, so I can get all that implemented when we... Uh, Sit down next time. Uh, what we'll be doing next time is implementing the staff names right away. I think I think we'll be adding an animal next time, actually. And the time after next, we'll have our beauty pass in which we'll be uh, not only finishing off the enclosure we start next time, because let's be let's be honest with ourselves, uh, but also we'll be um, we'll be getting in the sponsor boards, doing some more lighting, perhaps. I liked our previous uh, beauty pass quite a bit, actually. We got uh, we got a lot done that time. And uh, I, think I'll, uh, I think I'll aim for something similar. Uh, but now you might be wondering, well, okay, if... if uh, Not normal. Uh, you might be wondering if, uh, if next time we're, uh, we're adding a new animal. One that I'm actually really excited for. I've got... I've had... This is a plan I've had for a very long time. And I've been able to execute it for a very long time. But other things kept coming up, like other animals and... and other uh, well, DLC and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to, to get this one in. But uh, as I was saying, you might be wondering, well, okay, if an animal is next time and a beauty pass is the time after that, what are we doing today that uh, I said I was 
you know, I've been I've been pushing back for so very long. Well, folks, some of you maybe have seen this coming. Today, we're going to finally sit down and do a bit of a management session. It has been a very long time. It has been a ridiculously long time since we just sat down, taking a look at the uh, situation across the zoo. Like, I, I, I think the last time we did um, a management session was before the DLC came out by like a couple of weeks. So there's a lot of hot messes across the zoo. I mean, I know we did a little bit of management during that uh, live stream, that, that trade session live stream. Um, but I remember thinking in the back of my head then was just like, oh, we're going to need a management session soon. And it's really sort of come to a head as of last session where I felt like there were just constant notifications. Many of you even noticed like there were alarms for escaped animals. And I was just like, okay, look, <laughs> let, let, it, let it be. Let it be because I've already dealt with 30 other notifications. I don't want to deal with another one right now. I just want to spend some time with some animals. So today we're going to be managing the animals, spend some time with the animals. And not only that, but we're also going to be trying our best to help with Who's Laughing Now, the current community challenge. Uh, it's great to see that the community has already come together and accomplished the challenge. Now, I really wonder, have they reduced the numbers? Have they made it easier to accomplish these challenges? Because this is the second time now, I think, in a row that we've seen a challenge already be accomplished. And uh, when I'm recording this, it's only Wednesday. So, right? Like, Four days left, we're already at 100%. Have the numbers been dropped down? Like, have, have, has it been made easier? Or are people, you know, playing a lot more vigorously now than they were a couple of months ago when, uh, when you know, some of these challenges were not being accomplished? Anyway, Who's Laughing Now is about breeding 10,000 spotted hyenas. Did you know that these jovial predators use laughter to signal others when they are in danger? Help add more to the chorus with this week's community challenge to breed spotted hyenas. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> I know that's not the intent, but that's a very morbid descriptor. It's like, um, hey, yeah, these guys laugh when they're in danger. Help add more laughs by breeding more spotted hyenas. But if you're adding more laughs, it means you're also adding more danger. Um, I know that's not the intent, and it and it's perfectly fine. But my, I guess I re read that, and I immediately went to... Um, I guess a somewhat dark place, but uh, no, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't breed at least a couple. I mean, we've got uh, we've got our uh, spotted hyenas over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at their uh, current status, if I can find them. Where's our entrance over here? You guys, what are you up to? Did you recently have a child? You did, didn't you? That's going to hurt my uh, chances, but hey, we'll uh, we'll take them. Uh, but yes, in order to, in order to, of course, take advantage of, of our, uh, of our time and our opportunity, I'm going to try and hit play and let time move forward throughout today's session. Uh, with that said, and with me just realizing that we have reached year 150. Wow. 150 years of Leetsu South. Uh, but as I, as I, as I notice that, and as I say that, let's go ahead and hit play. And let's also move on over to our animal trading tab here. To our rewards over here. To our... Cheetah for bio, of course. Of course, you had to be female. Ah. So, many of you pointed it out. It slipped my mind. Did not slip yours. Uh, but yes, we do have a cheetah that I won as a reward from doing one of the previous um, community challenges. Uh, but unfortunately, it slipped my mind. And uh, it's, a, it's a female cheetah. And while we can have two male cheetahs in the enclosure, we can only have one female cheetah. So that's unfortunate, but what we can hope for is, of course, or rather not what we can hope for, but what we can do is when um, when our current female cheetah passes away, we can swap in the uh, the, the new one, and uh, you know, that'll have to do. Penda. For now, I suppose we can depend on you. Ooh, oh man, I want to get a good shot of the drinking water animation. Got a little lie down. Oh, they're so cute. You can kind of hear the purring. I, I saw a request in the comments, or, or a comment in the comments, I guess, about, like, um, how they purr. You can definitely hear it in the game. Um, there's something about this shot that I really quite like. It's like it embodies a management session, you know? We're uh, reflecting on our past accomplishments and... Uh, and, and, and making sure it's all, you know, still working okay. But apart from that as well, it looks quite nice. Maybe a little narcissistic, but I, I, I think I think she's asleep. Let me get the camera back there. 
course I can't. Nonetheless, today's not uh, solely about the cheetahs. It's about a little bit of hopefully everything. Go ahead and get my uh, user interface back over here so I can go ahead and put down a couple of donation bins. Because again, as some of you spotted, I've uh, I've not been putting down donation bins as aggressively as I should. It's it's again it's a matter of just like yeah we have money, so it's no longer like super top of mind I suppose is one way to put it, but it should be it should be I should stay focused on making more money, no reason not to. It, yellow and black is like doesn't really work. Let's go ahead and do like a, a two tone yellow kind of an approach. Actually I quite like this one. Why don't we do that kind of a thing? Just so it's a little different. Yellow and black stripes, I mean, come on, that's a, that's a very specific animal, right? There's one donation bin. Go and put another one down over here. One down over here. One down over here. That ought to do the trick for the uh, cheetahs. Yeah, that seems, that seems fair enough. I want to take a look at our uh, pygmy hippos as well. Um, where are my hippo donation bins? Because I feel like uh, we could go with the same kind of color scheme, right? Because hippos and hippos. Anybody going down here, by the way? I don't think so. Not not yet. We'll, we'll find a way to, like, encourage people to go down there, I suppose. Again, you can always do, like, washrooms and stuff like that. Go and put down one of these over here. Let's go and put another one down over here. That should give us enough coverage. Maybe one over here as well. That's not bad. We'll put one down over here. If someone's, you know, come all the way over here and they don't want to walk over to here to drop the uh, the donation. Uh, I wonder also if we want to, like, put this path, pull this path through, through sorry, and uh, hook it up to our little eating area and stuff back over here. That was a suggestion a couple of episodes ago now, and uh, the thought has crossed my mind as well. We could make a clean connection over here, I think, because uh, otherwise, they're again, they're having to, like, come through over here, come back and loop around, and I don't think they're fans of doing that, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do. I don't think the uh, pygmy hippos are able to climb out over here. Oh man. It, I was really hoping to get a good shot there of, uh, of them underwater. Uh, but let's take a look. Habitat. It looks like you are able to climb up here. Let's keep that in mind. Where would I pull out? Over here, I suppose. what I do here. Let's go ahead and move you down, not by a lot, but by just a little bit. What I can do is, hopefully, something like that, and get our path pop out this way. Gotta get that, uh, oh, I think I'll be able to fit this in here. I, I, I don't see why not. Come on. There we go. Also is about to mature. Excellent. A bit too much to one side. Okay, let's uh, plant this down over here first. There we go. It's actually too low. Okay. Way over there. I'm just trying to get there. We go. I think that's. You know what? That'll have to do. That'll have to do. What are we looking at though? Once you're out over here. J for Jown. Over and up to there, right? We are back here. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. What if we uh, get our... These paths down. There we go. How do we want to connect is the question. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these trees. And we can, like, hook up over there, right? Thank you. Up you like so... And bam, there we go. And on the flip side, we can go ahead and lead to the other enclosure now. Because from down over here, if we take this view into consideration, yeah, that works out. Got one way that way, and you gotta go that way. And it looks like people are actually using these benches and stuff, so that's also exciting in its own way. Wonderful. Uh, and let's also go ahead and establish some washrooms. Because, uh, really, I don't know why I didn't previously. I've just gone ahead and got some, uh, uh, toilet, I believe, toilet block, yeah. I keep thinking washroom and WC, like water closet, right, but... Toilet is like the last word to come to mind when I think of toilets. I don't know why. 
I'll pop you down over here like so. Right next to the ATM. Oh, and I could put another one down on this side as well, actually. Just to, I mean, again, people are coming here from quite a few spots, right? They could be coming from, uh, from like the South America angle. They could be coming from the, like, the lion angle. It would have been a long trip to get here. And pop this down. Like, so, sure. I think that does the trick. Very much like to change your colors. Darker tones. Point. Yeah, beauty. Over here, we get you the colors as well. Done, done, and done. Cool. Uh, hopefully, we'll see some more action over here. Multiple animals have low welfare. All right. Good. We can start dealing with some of this stuff now. <laughs> Take a look at your situation here. So let's. Sorry. Um. Setiawati, I guess, can stay. Setiawati or Setia. And Sipta. Okay, so Setia and Sipta shall stay. Setia and Sipta. Or Sipta. And Setia. Everybody else can't go to the Trade Center because the Trade Center is full. That's my favorite thing in Planet Zoo is uh, micromanage my Trade Center. Uh, go ahead and... See, I don't want to prematurely empty everything because who knows where else we're going to need fertile um, animals in just a moment's time. Go ahead and quick trade all of you. Come on. And you to the trade center. Dip does actually on the older side, so we might have to uh, replace them over here. Fair enough. Bosa has matured. Gonna have to get you out of here. And we gotta get uh, the, the common warthogs. There's just, we gotta do something about that. Right. Okay, there we go. Warthogs. I, I could have sworn I clicked on the, uh, on this. Oh, so let's go ahead and get you out of here. Pretty sure they're not supposed to be so crowded, right? Not all populations looking fine, actually. Lupedia, let's take a quick look over here. I might be mistaken, actually, now that I think about it, because they go up to f Oh no, up to two males, up to two females. I guess that's our up to two, right? And, uh, and Sosa. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for any warnings there, though. Low welfare among these guys over here as well, that's because there's too many of them. And Grace and Alexander have, uh... Have, have stayed alive in an elderly state for a very, very long time. Nope, there we go. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling we are going to have some trouble with the uh, hyenas. Zosa, where are you? The Trade Center. They just released her to the wild, actually. Should have just released her to the wild. Mating Jaguars over here. You. Low welfare. Wow, you're stressed out? Stressed out. I need to remember as well that I have a uh, a high quality gift Baird's tapir. Another thing that I'm just like keep forgetting. Where's my animal rewards? Email. I'm trying to figure out like <laughs> I can make a little post-it note or a sticky note for myself. All right, now while we're waiting for more warnings to crop up, I look. This is a mess. We have way, way, way too many llamas. We, we have way too many llamas. We need to get rid of some of these guys. We also have way too many people over here. They're really slowing the space down, aren't they? And just still not using that other side. I just don't get it. Don't get it. All right, let's go ahead and rather indiscriminately over here. Pick up a few... We'll go. Oh, we'll keep. We'll keep. We'll keep the Cusco. How about that? We'll keep the Cusco. Everybody else, though. Kids as well. Sorry. Just realized I was like, wait, hold on. I'm selecting kids now. Too many llamas. 
too many llamas. Go ahead and rehome the two of you. Everybody else, empty to release of the wild. Not a lot of conservation credits, but I think it's nice to release to, to the wild from time to time. Let's go for it. Better number, but still ridiculously high. Come on, let me click. Go ahead and trade out a couple more males because we've got so many. Yep. Good to me. Decent conservation credits that time too. Alright, cool. And we have nine more children. Um soon to be mature. Let's keep an eye out for that. The common warthog, they have trouble now as well, so let's go ahead and you know what? I'm kinda tempted. Go ahead and select all. And uh, we've got our male. And let's go ahead and do like a couple females. Of course, the kids have to stay. Everybody else released to the wild. Yep, let's do it. Keep, uh, keep up a Yomi as well. Let's just take a look at the situation now. Still quite a few females. Get you out of here. If Abayomi is the alpha, who are you actually able to mate with? That's inbreeding, that's inbreeding, that's inbreeding, that's inbreeding, so nobody is the answer to that question. Ogbona is also not the greatest option. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of both of our male warthogs over here. I will get in a new one. Least animals of the wild. Beauty. The only male we have left, I assume, is a baby. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's go ahead. The zoo, first of all. Um, whoops. No, oh, not whoops, I guess. A lot of progress on the hippo made. Um, need someone on the pygmy hippo as well, right? And the cheetah. This is the other thing about, like, researching a little too quickly is, like... We are uh, falling, like, we're falling behind, rather, get adding animals too quickly as we start falling behind on research because I want to have vets out there looking after animals as well. Um, there's just, there's just lots going on. Uh, animals, though, over here. The warthog is what I'm looking for. The common warthog, rather. And the little children here should be put onto contraceptives. Cool. Actually, you know what, I say that. We just need to put the uh, the male on contraceptives because we're going to be adding a new male and all the females will be perfectly viable candidates. So let's go ahead and get ourselves... a new common warthog. There we go. And that. Hopefully there's some high quality genes out there. Not about to drop a thousand... Oh, okay. <laughs> nah. You know what? Yeah, fine. Those are really, those are as good. That, that's about as good as stats can get. Literally, we'll see how it works out though. Over to quarantine. And while that's happening, why don't we go ahead and say hello to some folks? Uh, gather some conservation credits. Again, it's not going to make up for everything we spent, but we just got to do it a couple times, and we'll be uh, we'll be back. And that's part of the reason why I said yes. I was like, you know what? It's fine, because... Oh. Julius Caesar is here? What? Yeah, buddy. Huh? I guess that's what Caesar looked like. Didn't know he uh, he had a goatee. Alright. Good real said hello to. I know there's a, there's a cap, and I think I've already met that cap, but... Yeah, all good though. Get back whatever points we can. We'll recuperate our, our expenses. Overlapping education speakers, for real? Or are you just making that up? Yeah, just because a group passed through. Alright, I think we are. I'm there. So we're done with the warthogs. I'm, I'm like trying to keep an eye out for what was the most problematic. Done with the warthogs. Um, done with the llamas. Got a couple of warning notifications. That's all good. Up over here, actually, I wanted to check for a while. Very crowded. Let's take a look here. Antonia is okay. 
And actually, most of these guys are okay. Most of them are fine. So why don't we go ahead and... Keep Antonio and Antonia. So, kind of meant to be kind of a thing, right? I can't even, like, sell them directly. Fine. You know what? Have it your way, game. Have it your way. Go ahead. And, come on. <laughs> I wouldn't mind so much if I could just click. Alright, go ahead and get some of these guys as well out of here. Titan Beetles too. Sure. Alright. You know, I, I think I need to keep a male Titan Beetle, so let's go ahead and keep Gustavo over here. Let's trade all of you. Decent. Good. These guys taken care of. What do we got going on over here? Eva. Was she, like, stuck on the rock or something for a moment there? I think so. Go ahead and move Ngozi up over to our enclosure here. Yeah, okay. I was like, did I did I deliver it? Or am I about to click on, like, the lion's enclosure and have them just get delivered there instead? All right, okay, so that's good. Um, how are koalas doing? These guys always concern me because, like, I feel like... After that one, like, time when... We basically, like, had no more koalas. I was a little nervous. Why? Got a bunch of infertile koalas. Let's go ahead and send all of you to a new home. Yes. So that William can have another lady. Uh, so cute. I love that they climb these things. Decent stats. All right, decent stats. Let me check one thing real quick. Zoopedia. One male, three females. So if we can get three females, then we'll go ahead and get three females. The market. Over to the koala. First any species. By JK. There's a koala. Oh, wild. You're on the older side too. Yeah, they're just like they're just not around. Gotta pick you up from the frontier zoo. Fair enough. Over to quarantine. Yeah, that's just too bad. That's the that's the downside of a online like connected uh, economy. Is like, well, if people aren't engaging in a certain aspect of it, you have to, you know, the the the, the, the slack has to be picked up, so to speak. New dingo in the pack. Excellent. Where was I coming to? Over here. How are these spaces looking? Not all that busy still. These trains are being used a lot. Right, I'm actually curious where these guys are planning on going. Not an ideal temp. Uh, I wonder if that was on the ground or in the water. Well, we'll keep an eye out for it. Alright. You guys are popping out over here. I'm just curious which way they go. Looks like they're all going to come up over here. Honestly, look, there's a bin here. The bin there. They're still finding time to litter. It was suggested that I should just get a bunch of um I should get a bunch of caretakers because there's so much littering going on. And I was uh, I was going to say it's like, yeah, but because last session there was this like, oh my god, trail of trash. Where 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 to go? Where are we? Like up over here, there was just like garbage everywhere. And it was because I hadn't put down any bins. So I was like, nah, we'll be fine. I don't need more caretakers, I just need more bins in the area. Uh clearly I was I haven't learned my lesson. So, go ahead and get some caretakers. Hang on a second, what is... Alright, fair enough. I guess starts closed now instead. All of these guys down over here. Pause for a split second. Their salaries will be fine, but uh, their work zones will be Africa West, you two will be Africa West, up over here, you shall be Africa Center, 
and you, by surprise, will be Africa center as well. Hopefully that does something for us. And what I really need to do actually is get more vendors. We have a lot of stalls, I'm sure, that are sitting idle more often than not. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at what this is. Vending machine is broken down. Could use some more mechanics as well, perhaps. So over to the zoo. Staff. Mechanics. One, two, and three. I don't know if I need to give them uh, work zones or I just leave them kind of free to roam wherever they want. Oh, I guess trying to run away. Hello. Cool. Oh. But I'm maturing saltwater croc. Gotta be ready for a bunch of saltwater crocs to mature, I guess, and, and send them send them packing as it were. Oh, you're in the middle of eating, so it's gonna take some time. The notifications always spring a little too early. They'll be like about to mature and then you know seven years will pass in game and it's like still a child still a child it's that's all good we got people cleaning up we got bins placed down all right what's going on here it is on the ground i see what's going on the shade over there or you know it's the coolie the the the, the coolers up over here Reduce your range a little bit. Can't actually see. Yeah, it's getting a little too cold over here, and, and they're not happy about that. And that's fair. That's fair. I must be freezing. Eva, quarantine pass. Let's go ahead and. It says which. Okay. You say back to original habitat. I just want to see what that means. Nowhere. Okay, cool. I was wondering why that's not grayed out. There we go. All right, excellent. Getting a lot done. Why are my hyenas sitting idle? Oh, they're not. Beauty. August of year 151. Excellent. They seem to agree. They seem quite happy. What's the difference between a laugh and that, like, yipping is how I'll describe it? Because, like... If they laugh when they're in danger, right? Laughing, I mean, that's the thing with hyenas. We're like <laughs> taught from an early age, I guess you could say that, uh, yeah, hyenas laugh. We're not really taught that uh, that's a, it's a sign of danger coming. But okay, if that's how they signal danger, how do they just kind of like communicate, right? Like dogs, for example, they don't always howl. Well, they howl, they also bark. What's the uh, what's the hyena equivalent? Is it that like chattering or whatever? Like, uh, well, what's it called, you know? We're hearing it fairly often. I hope it's not laugh uh, laughter because that means they're uh, in danger, I guess. Maturing warthogs. Broken vending machines. Let's go ahead and get some more. Where am I? Zoo. Some more staff. Some more mechanics. One guy, maybe. Now let's go ahead and get uh, some more vendors. Especially up over here. Well, I like to start off with up near over so disorienting here who's gotten real big go ahead and get one two three four and five back down over here go and get a couple and up over here and drop off a few as well just to make up for the numbers across the zoo and they don't have any work zones or anything so they'll you know get to where they need to for whatever they need to i think we'll be fine how is our vet research going over here i feel like they've tweaked how quickly research takes place i feel like it's a lot slower these days like significantly so but i could be mistaken because you're all like five steer uh five, five star right Matured, all right. Is this pending? You can't, you're not an adult. I guess you are. All right, release you to the wild. Sure. Red rough lemur. Incorrect sex ratio. All right. So. Uh...
Why is there no Zoopedia button down here, actually? What's your ratio supposed to be? What are your numbers supposed to be? 3 to 31 male, 29 females. Gotcha. Gotcha. Any guesses as to what's wrong? Because uh, I've got some. Here. One male. You're the problem then. Might want to rehome some of these as well. They've served us well. The Queen of Kenya gets to stay. She is the Queen. But rehome some of these guys. They've been around for a while. I mean, the more there are, the more caretaking they need and the more of a mess they create and all that kind of stuff as well. Nambi over here. Over to the wild with you. Cool. That should be that taken care of. How are these guys doing anyway? Oh, didn't mean to come here, but here we are. Ah, oh, they always look so good. Where? I'm completely letting myself <laughs> get distracted. Where was I headed? Wait, why are you upset? Because you climbed up here and... Can't get off. There we go. No visiting players. Welfare's a problem, but we've sorted that out. Alright. Lions, we already sorted out. Saltwater crocs. I believe we have more saltwater crocs that we'll need uh, removing one way or another. Got two males. I, I feel like these guys I could like sell for a decent price. Keep Elok and Burka, everybody else. If I release you to the wild, what do I get? 589. Not terrible. Not bad at all, actually. The trade center, though. 589 is not a small sum. By August is what we're waiting for, right? Because I just want to contribute at least one hyena. At least one hyena. If this would load. Well, that would be nice, you know, just like... Because we didn't get to do the last one, so I'd like to be able to get like get this one done. Alright, Crocs done. Lions we did last session. Things are looking okay up over here, actually. Not too bad with the zebras and the giraffes. Our otters seem to be doing okay. Same down over here. These guys... Hmm. I don't think they need anything. I mean, <laughs> thinking about the, uh, the the many the many dots, but I think they're fine. I think they're fine. Let me just take a look over here. Hey, Penda's about to have offspring. Oh my god! Ridiculous. Once when they when they hit adulthood, it's gonna be absolutely wild. So many tortoises. Look at that lighting. Come on. Baby time. What are you up to, buddy? Sitting down? Yeah, baby time. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, there we go. Snuck up on me. Oh, look at those ears. Look at those big ears. So cute. Off he goes. Alright, fantastic. More vet research is complete. On the hippo, I imagine. Yeah, a couple more steps left over here. Uh, what am I looking for? This, actually. 
Sure, collect all unclaimed rewards. We haven't even made a dent as far as community standings are concerned. I don't think we will, I'll be honest. It'd be difficult. I mean, if, if it's already all been done, I imagine it'd be quite difficult even to get that first level where all you get is some conservation credits. No animals or anything? Wild, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. One of those challenges. Uh, okay, so what else is left? I mean, the, the dingoes... I feel like we spent some time with these guys last session, right? Spent some time with these guys and... These guys as well. Having such a hard time separating my episodes, I'm gonna be honest. It's been it's been such a long ride with Elitsu South that it's all kinda of starting to like blend together at times, where it's just like how long has it been since we've done a certain thing or, or not? Especially as more and more of these uh, you know, warning sirens and, 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 and notifications go off because they keep sending us around the zoo, so everything feels, you know, that much more familiar. Ugh, such as this bug. I mean this is adorable. <laughs> okay, this, uh, this is amazing. No one seems to be able to, uh, spot the jaguar, I suppose. Moving about completely unfazed. Alright, buddy, listen. Clearly, you're not unfazed, though. You're having a bad time. Where? There's so many trees, man. <laughs> Where am I? There we go. Pop you out over here. So many trees. I was just like completely lost. I was like, everything is green. All I see is just a, a green canopy. Alright. Um. Okay, so. Done. 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 These guys are too new to need more management. Uh, The tortoises look like they're okay. They haven't had any issues. I think we're fine. Fine. Lemurs we checked up on. They seem to be okay. We check on our other lemurs as well, the ringtail lemurs. Wouldn't be surprised if they maybe are close to having similar issues, where are we? That's not what I want. Where is the Gate. One of the gates. Come on. You guys, what are you looking at? Five and two? Oh, yeah, that's not that's not bad. I, mean, I could send you, I suppose. I could rehome you. What do we have here? Animal has escaped. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> it's one thing to, like, be swamped with notifications. It's another one the notifications, like, don't make sense. Like, how did you escape? Did you walk through the glass? Like, how are they able to do that? Everyone's terrified. The thing we don't have to worry about, marginal profits. Remember when that was a thing with the saltwater crocs right at the beginning? All right, so done, 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 done. Don't need. It looks like we're fine. Done. Yeah. Uh, already, okay, so these guys were done here. We're fine over here. These guys, the Colombian... Where are you? There's actually a lot of them. But I guess their breeding and stuff is fine now. Must be, right? Must be. Otherwise, how would we, uh... How would we have so many? Quick look over here at our animals. Nope. Nope, that's a problem. All of the females are infertile. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get ourselves... More females. Nope, that's not what I meant. These guys have been really strange. I, I can't remember now exactly when it was. But they were fine at first. They were more than fine at first. And then all of a sudden, one day, there was a patch or an update. And it was just like, nope, doesn't work anymore. Move you over to quarantine. Animals escaped. Is it a real escape or a fake escape? By fake escape, I mean, like, one that's the result of the game acting weird. As opposed to an animal actually finding a way out. Yeah, so of course, it's this. <sighs> I 
like how it looks, which is why I want to keep it. But. I'll see if I can't figure something else out. Some other way to do this. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, so done, done. We looked at the Baird's Tapers. We could look at the uh, Ant Eater. Where it is? There it is. Baird's tape here, we looked at already. Literally and figuratively speaking. One anteater here. But are the other anteaters? Those are Baird's tape here. <laughs> okay. I'm like, did I did I miss them? They're rather large creatures. How 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 do you just like glance past them? Oh, oh, that's a that's a light. Huh. Guess they are pretty solitary, huh? I mean, these guys are pretty old as well. Fernando's been born. Fernando's on the young side, by which I mean he's a juvenile. But we'll need a uh, female very soon. Very soon. All right, fair enough. But they're they're fine for now, though. At least there's that. So done, 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 done. So this this half is all done. We got the koalas as well, and these guys are all looking okay. Yeah. So I think the uh, the kangaroos are the only ones left. What are we looking at over here? What are we looking at over here? Oof. A lot of infertility, unfortunately. You very young, Maruchi. Wow. What happened there? We have two females, no fertile males. Okay. Look. Let's clean up a little bit, right? Rehome some of these guys. Yes, please. Adina, I don't think you can... Their mates? Alright, we don't have any... Fertile males. Uh, so I guess we get, uh, we get some males. Go ahead. You... Oops. I'm all trading. You are... Market to our kangaroo red Our red kangaroo there we go Hopefully we'll find some uh, good male options down over here for 250 Monaro don't mind if I do perfect. Thank you By the way for some reason and I'm not sure why but for some reason, picking up Monaro made me realize I do have some name suggestions for the uh, enclosure as well. I've got some that I quite like, but uh, we'll we'll put uh, for the for the cheetah enclosure. I mean, we'll put that down when uh, when we do our beauty pass, right? I think that's what we'll do. Um, but I do have a name suggestion that I do quite like, and uh, I'm always open to more. Of course, if you have more suggestions that you want to like toss in the hat, so to speak, toss in the ring, whatever the right turn of phrase is right now. Can't my head's. Not sure, um, but, uh, but but leave it in the comments and I'll, I'll include it to the list of considerations. But for now, I do have one picked out. Go ahead and drop you off over here. Good stuff. And I guess that's all the animals. I mean, it's all the animals, but is it all the stuff that needs doing? How are we looking as far as research is concerned? A little bit of progress here. No progress on the uh, the hippo, unfortunately. I mean, again, maybe I do need to get another uh, vet, uh, uh, whatever it's called, like vet center or vet research center or what have you, somewhere up over here. Just because, like, vets have to actually physically go to the enclosure to, like, study the animal before they'll uh, research them, like, as a part of the research process. So maybe, yeah, maybe I should take that in consideration. But, folks, um, it feels like we've kind of got everything we need to get done done. Was a bit on the older side. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything out, out of this uh, challenge. But I'm glad to say that we were able to at least contribute uh, a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. But folks, I do think this is... Maybe we're going to go ahead and call it a session. A little bit of a shorter one today. A little bit of a more uh, relaxed one, I suppose, today. As we continue to have more issues up over here. I guess some of them are becoming adults, say. Eh? Let's go ahead and... Pick up a few of you. I don't need this many female warthogs. At least in the wild. Come on. Come on. 
If you like, you, you you hear the sound, but no, uh, nothing as far as the screen's concerned. There, two females, one male. Let's uh, let's let's give ourselves a bit of a, a bit of room here, a bit of wiggle room here, because like, just always super backed up, basically as far as warthogs were concerned. Uri over here has passed away, unfortunate. Farewell to that llama. And up over here, I thought I saw. Okay, no. I was gonna say, is this like a problem, or are we doing okay? I think we're fine here. I think we're fine here. But, uh, yeah, folks, as I was saying sort of moments ago, say again, I'll just call it a session over there. We've done a fair bit today. I mean, again, we're going to get, like, okay, you can't ever, like, avoid death notifications at all. But I think we did a fair bit there. Uh, we, we took a look at uh, basically all of the animals I have for a very long time. Wait, hold on a second. Wow. <laughs> so so many trees. I completely, uh, completely slipped my mind, these guys. And I was like, wait a second. Where did our adorable little birds go? Oh, yes, so adorable. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, do they have any issues? I, th I think we have everybody, right? I believe so. And yeah, we're looking fine over here. Fair enough. Take a look at our animals over here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, well, let's take a look at... Yeah, all good, all good. Monitor, yeah, we're good. We just solved these guys as uh, uh, climate control problems. Some of these guys, again, last session we ended up investigating some of them, right? Well, actually, you know what? I I, I, I did deal with the, uh, the gorilla escape, but I didn't actually take a look at the gorilla situation properly. So why don't we go ahead and take a quick peek at the, uh, the gorillas over here. The zoo has gotten so cumbersomely big. Where's my gate? Back over here. There we go. Love how tucked away this one is. Ow, these numbers. Quite a few elderly. We have. We need a new male, don't we? We need a new uh, new male after uh, the Dola goes away. Maybe we trade him out. Actually, I always feel so bad. He's not infertile or anything. Actually, so there's no reason to send him off. A little shy in his old age, it seems. Okay, buddy. Oh, look at that. Oh, they look so good. They look so good. Ace. All right, folks. Let's call it over here. I think uh, things are looking pretty good. They're not as like bad or haphazard as I'd initially felt, but at least now, next time when we're sitting down and just like trying to watch an animal or work on something, we don't have to worry about a hundred pings going off and. You know, everyone's inbreeding and everyone's uh, fighting or, or something or the other. So I feel pretty good about today's session. Again, a bit of a bit of a chill session, I guess. A bit of a uh, slower session, I suppose. Um, but uh, but we did get a lot done, and that sets us up to pick the pace up and 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 continue next session. Again, I'm thinking of adding a new animal session after that. We'll do a beauty pass. I don't know. I might flip that around. I saw quite a few folks ask for a beauty pass next, or I guess this session. Uh, but sort of pushing that forward to next session. I've seen a few folks ask for a new animal. I've seen some people ask for specific animals, but I mean, uh, we have to get to those areas again, much like we have to get to some of these areas. We have to get to those areas. Uh, but I do have some plans for which animal to add next, and rather, rather I should say, which animals and animals press on the S there to add next. But uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll I'll figure out where my my head's at and what my kind of inspirations are are looking like if I if I have uh, everything I need to get. Uh, one or the other task tackled, and I'll, I'll jump on that. Uh, or, uh, or yeah, I'll take a look at uh, what y'all have to say on the comments. In the comments, not on the comments. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Nice to just calm down on the building a little bit for, for a session, just like walk around the zoo and, and look around. I, 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 I quite like it, at least, and I hope you did as well. Folks, if you had a good time, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment, as always. It uh, really helps to make decisions on the channel. If you've been enjoying the series a lot, uh, you might want to consider supporting the channel. You can do that as a channel member or as a patron. Links to both are in the description down below. I want to say, of course, on that note, a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>